anything too new. Um, so this is just, just like I said, a setup for my next move. So, you know, you might get a quick two count, you might not, but the, the point is to get my feet set and uh, break them down off the whistle, make sure he doesn't fire out right away. So, I'm getting weight on my hands, getting them right here. He's gonna be trying to belly out, and I'm gonna let him belly out. But as he does, I'm gonna take, if I'm riding on the right side, I'm gonna use my left foot. And as he bellies out, I'm gonna split his legs. So as he bellies out, I'm splitting his legs, and I'm trying to throw this leg above his knee, right here. Everyone see that? So as he bellies out, I turn with him, and then I get my, I turn my hips up and forward. I want to get my chest up as soon as possible. So right now, I got this outside leg in. My chest is up, and I'm driving my hips into his lower back right here. Forward. I want to be able to get this leg as high as possible when he bellies out. The higher, the easier it is going to be to turn him. So off the whistle, I bump him forward. I get this tight waist tilt. He goes to belly. As he does, I sneak this leg in as high as I can. As he turns, I'm going to get my hips up, hands to the mat, and my chest high right here. Now I'm going to figure for the leg a little bit and I'm going to get on my outside toe. Everyone see that? So, a lot of people will try to use the momentum as a guy is turning down to try to turn them. And you might turn some guys like that, but not everyone. So as he's turning, you might just try to get the momentum and get it. Carry a quick count. But that won't work for, for the best guys. So what I want you guys to practice is, as soon as he turns out, I want you just to get here, get in the right position, get your, your chest high and your hips in. From right here, I'm going to almost like a, like a bicep curl, curl my leg, and all I want to try to do is lift his leg straight up. I'm not trying to turn him sideways, I'm just going to lift his leg up, and this leg has nowhere to go, and it's just going to naturally turn him up. So as he's, he's fighting me a little bit, I'm just gonna lift this leg up. It creates a lot of pressure and it starts to turn. Once I start getting him turned, I'm gonna cross face, reach for his far tricep, and carry him over. Everyone see that? Notice how the whole time I'm up on this hand with my chest high. I never duck my head down, look to the mat, where I lose all my pressure. So the whole time I'm up on this hand posted, squeezing this leg. Just like a just like a bicep curl. Everyone see that? Cool. So again, but all I want to do is lift this leg straight up. As I lift it up, see how his body naturally turns? That's the motion I want you guys to get. He should be able to feel the pressure. If not, be a good partner. Ask him if the pressure's there and then readjust. But give it a try and then we'll bring it in. Ready? One, two.